Hey everybody, my name is Brandon and today I want to talk to you about an awesome tool called S-Shuttle. Now S-Shuttle can create a VPN connection over SSH that allows us to use that connection as a proxy between two parts of a network or two separate networks. This is very useful when you have compromised a machine on the edge of a network and you're looking to pivot internally. So let's take a quick look at a network diagram that I've drafted up for today's attack scenario. So today we're going from our Cali machine here, which of course we own, um, we have already established a foothold on this edge machine and the Kali machine and the edge machine can talk to each other over this 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network. They're on the same LAN so they can communicate directly to each other. But now we're trying to pivot internally to an internal network to attack this internal machine, which has an address on the 192.168.2.0 slash 24 network. So the Kali machine cannot directly communicate with the internal machine unless we proxy through this edge machine and that's where s shuttle comes into place so with s shuttle we can seamlessly communicate between the cali machine and the internal machine by setting up an ssh vpn connection to the edge machine and that will proxy our traffic to this internal network so let's take a look at the vms that we have in place for this all right so let's start out with our edge machine and our internal machine now these are both vms that are running on virtualbox on my desktop so let's start by looking at the edge machine network setting. So if we go into settings and then network, we can see that the first adapter is a bridged adapter. Now this is going to get an IP address over DHCP on my home LAN. So this is our external network that the Kali machine is also connected to. Then we have an internal network where this is the bridge on the 192.168.2.0 slash 24 network that connects the edge machine to the internal machine. Now, if we look at the network settings for the internal machine, we can see that it's only connected to the internal network. So it's not getting an IP over DHCP on my homeland. So these machines can talk to each other over the internal network and the edge machine can talk to the Kali machine over my homeland. So let's take a look at the actual Kali machine. Now, this is a VM that's running on my home ESXi server. So it's on a separate machine entirely. I'm just remoted into it through VMware Workstation. So again, we can take a look at the IP here and we can see that we have an IP on this 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network. But enough about the networking setup, let's get started with S-Shuttle. So to install S-Shuttle, you can simply do sudo apt install S-Shuttle and that will install the program. Of course, we already have it installed, so we're not going to worry about that. Now, the simplest use case that you can use is as follows. We'll do S-Shuttle and then dash R to specify the remote server. And then we do the username combination with the IP address, for just like we're going to SSH into a normal machine. So we'll do conda at 192.168.1.181, which is the IP address of our edge machine. And then we will specify the subnet that we want to forward through the VPN connection like a proxy. So this will be the network addresses that traffic will automatically be sent to through the VPN. In our case, this is going to be 192. Dot one six eight dot two dot sorry dot two dot zero slash twenty four. Now once we enter this, it's going to ask for our local pseudo password, so we can type that in, and then it's going to want the password for the user on the edge machine that we're SSHing into. Because remember, this is a VPN connection that's set up via SSH. So we'll just type in conda, and we can see it says client connected. So now if we go to a new window and we type in nmap. We'll start with um, 192.168.2.101. So this is the IP address of the internal machine on the internal network. And then we'll just do a dash P for port 80. So now if we do this nmap command, we should be able to see that port 80 is actually open. But if we weren't using S shuttle to proxy this traffic, we would not be able to see this. Now these nmap scans can take a little longer than normal just because we're using this proxied connection. So you're sending all your traffic through that edge machine to get to the internal machine. So it adds some network latency in there. But we can see that port 80 is actually coming back as open because we are proxied through the edge machine with S shuttle. So now if we open up a web browser, let's see, we'll go to web browser. And now we can try to actually browse to that internal IP address. We'll do 192.168.2.101. And we can see that we're getting that Apache 2 default web page. Now, if we actually go back to S shuttle, so let's pull that up. Here's our S shuttle connection. Let's kill that with control C. Now that connection is no longer there. We'll go back to our web browser and try to refresh this page. You can see it's not going to load. But the minute we put 
our S Shadow connection back up, SSH back into that machine, that VPN connection is going to be restored and we can now refresh and this page will load. So we are using S Shadow to proxy all of our connection through that edge machine and hitting that internal network. So basically all the traffic for that 192.168.2.0 slash 24 network is going to be sent through this edge machine over that SSH VPN connection into this internal network. So S Shadow can be extremely useful when you're trying to pivot from an external network to an internal network. And it's also very simple to use. All you need is an open SSH port and you don't even need root on the machine that you're trying to proxy through. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you next time. Thank you.